What's up everyone, I'm OBG for TastingSales.com. Welcome back to another video. So today I have Jesse James, the American Outlaw Bourbon Whiskey. Now this is owned by Jesse James Dupree, of course. He was the lead singer and guitarist of the Jackal, a band that was famous and was established and in 1991. Now he did create Jesse James Spirits in 2010 and they do make several SKUs, so let's jump into it. The first one is the Jesse James Honey Whiskey. This has an ABV of 35 or a proof of 70 and this retails for $18. Then we have the Jesse James Spiced Whiskey. This has an ABV of 35 or a proof of 70 once again and this retails between 20 to $25. Then we have the Jesse James Straight Whiskey. Now this is what I have in my hand right now. This has an ABV of 40 or a proof of 80 and this retails once again between 20 to $25. Then we have the Jesse James American Outlaw. This is a $60 bottle of whiskey and this has a proof of 80 or an ABV of 40. And finally, we have the Jesse James once again but this one is the Barrel Strength. This one retails for $80 and this has an ABV of 50 or a proof of 100. Now let's talk packaging. First, this looks exactly like 10 High here. I mean, they both have eagles on there, kind of like the same bottle. Um, this, of course, is sourced whiskey. I did not find anything on there where he actually produces the whiskey. The packaging on here, I would say is a B minus and even close to a C here. I really dislike the white shrink wrap here. If you go black, it's gonna be a lot easier and it's not gonna get as dirty and it's not gonna look as bad when the shrink isn't done properly. I get the idea of Jesse James and the outlaw and you know, the coward that would never be his name said and so on like i totally understand that um i do like the little booklet with the cold 45 peacemaker but other than that i don't understand what tavern strength means does that mean like 40 abv 80 proof and then um you know the original jesse james first taste of freedom i don't know where that comes from i i get the patriotic thing um it's just a little too much for me more information about the actual product. Yes, you did put 24 months old bottled by Jesse James Distilling & Co, but there's no real explanation on the website. All right, sorry, Jesse. You could do better than that, I'm sure. All right, with that out of the way, is it good? Well, before that, do you wanna taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box and I will send you my free 17 page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. Not only that, if you wanna get a sober hat or a sexy sober t-shirt, once you have that in your cart, please put the promo code IMOBG and shipping will be free since it's on me. All right, let's jump into this Jesse James. On the color, light yellow. On the nose, funky nose that pushes smoke, light zesty fruit like oranges, lemon, lime, into caramel, honey, and lots of oak layers. That was really charred at a high level. This has the classic bourbon feeling where everything is supposed to be on the nose. On the mouthfeel, light mouthfeel that is not intense, and this is a little thin for me. The spicy oak comes in and delivers some layers that give you some of the barrel sweetness with the smoke. But in the end, the length is in there and it just falls off a cliff. Now, um, I was disappointed. I was hoping that this was gonna be a lot stronger. Um, not only that, this is made in Tennessee and yet there is no official Tennessee naming on here, which is kind of confusing. So I'm guessing that's a legal matter. Um, this is a pass for me. This is not a buy. We're talking about $20 to $25. And like I said, you can get this for like 10 bucks and it's right in there. Um, at the same time, I would love to try the higher end stuff and the battle strength one here to see how good they are, especially at that premium price. But for now, this is a pass for me. Sorry, Jesse. I'm sure that you'll try to do better with future stuff that you put out. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, go down there, click the link if you wanna see the previous shows that I've done. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell if you do wanna get the notifications every time that I post something on YouTube. Otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober. Peace.